Good morning, ESM, and happy Taurus Tuesday. We've got some fun things planned for today, but before we do that, let's check, what's in, check in with Madison with news. Kayla Blake, a woman in Maine, was arrested Sunday for calling in bomb threats to her boyfriend's work to spend more time with him. The woman called in two separate bomb threats to purchase medical products, then a few hours after called, at, said, called and said she would plant four more pipe bombs there. On Monday, a 19-year-old man in Lyon, France, threw an egg at the president of France, Emmanuel Macron. This happened at an international food trade located in Lyon. The man that threw the egg was instantly arrested due to the police standing right behind him as he threw the egg. Jesse Infante, a nurse at Upstate University Hospital, was told to turn his badge in because he refused to get the COVID-19 vaccine. It shouldn't matter, and if I don't want it, I don't have to get it, Infante says. Him and hundreds of other healthcare workers are expected to be sidelined due to the new COVID vaccine mandate. The mandate requires healthcare workers to get their shot or lose their job. Infante has worked as a healthcare worker for seven years, but still isn't convinced that the vaccine is safe. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The semi-formal homecoming dance is on October 2nd. The ESM Central High School semi-formal homecoming dance will be Saturday, October 2nd from 7 to 10 p.m. in the high school gym. The homecoming dance is only for Central High School students. No outside guests will be allowed. Masks must be worn at the dance following COVID protocol. Homecoming dance tickets will be available to purchase starting on Tuesday, September 28th, before and after school near the main entrance. Pre-sale tickets are $8 and tickets will be sold at the door for 10. Proof of vaccination or Binax test in school or Friday are needed from the nurse's office and are required to attend the dance. Students with questions should stop in B4 to see Mr. Mussolino or Mr. Anzalone. Dear ESM juniors, seniors, and staff, ESM is partnering with the American Red Cross for a blood drive on Wednesday, October 6th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the Hall of Fame. Please help us fill the schedule and sign up to donate blood at this life-saving event. Each donate, each donate can help save up to three lives. Donors must be 17 years or older, 16 years old may donate with parent permission slip, and you must be in good health. All donors will receive a $5 gift card via email and a Red Cross sling backpack. You can sign up with Mr. Mussolino and B4 or on the Red Cross website at redcross.org. The sign-up code is ESM High School HS. National Honor Society is having a mandatory meeting Thursday, September 30th at 3.30 in B4. We will be discussing officer elections, the blood drive, and the year in general. If you are unable to attend, please see Mr. Mussolino in B4. The morning weight room will be closed Wednesday and Thursday a.m. this week. The weight room will still be open after school on those days. Email Coach Eschbacher if you have any questions. All right, so I picked out a few couple fun facts about international travel and tourism in general that I thought I'd share with you guys today. So our first fact is that China has one time zone despite being the, a similar size to the U.S. Our second fact is Hartsfield-Jackson Airport in Atlanta, Georgia is the world's busiest airport, welcoming more than 110 million passengers. Russia is bigger than the dwarf planet Pluto, which I still consider a planet. Australia has over 10,000 beaches. You could visit a new beach every single day for over 27 years. Imagine all that nice warm weather. Speaking of weather, let's help go check the forecast. Tomorrow there will be a high of 65 and a low of 47, and Thursday there will be a high of 61 and a low of 45, and I'm Abby with your weather. Alright, so today we're going to play a little game I like to call Guess the Country. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we're going to pull up an image of a popular tourist destination and our contestants have to guess where it's located. If you can tell us the name of the attraction and the country, you'll get two points. Uh, we've got each student, or one student from each grade competing, so whoever wins gets a fist bump and bragging rights. All right, let's show the first picture here. Uh, 
uh, before we show the picture, I'll introduce our contestants. We've got our freshman, Madison, our junior, Josh, <laughs> our sophomore, Tanner, and our senior, Elena. What's up? All right, let's show the first picture. Oh. All right, Eric Tanner, Tanner oh, Tanner's got to answer first. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us the name of the attraction? Yes, there you go. Two points for the sophomores. All right, next picture. Oh, oh, California, California, California. No. Dang it. Oh, Tanner, you're doing it. You got it again. Oh, yeah. It's the Hollywood sign in California. Oh, uh, yes, you are correct. Next image. Oh, oh, yeah. it's, 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 it's Dubai. The Atlanta. It's a temple. the temple of Dubai. No. Nope. No, nope. Bulgaria. No, actually, the country, the country <laughs> is in Moscow. No, no. Oh, Ma yeah. Maddie, you're next. India. You got the country right. Can you give us the name of the attraction? Oh, the the, 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 the mm. Can we have the first All right. letter? We're gonna skip that one and go to the next and last image. Uh, Tanner. That is in uh, Greenland. Scotland, I'm sorry. Mine's making noise. Oh, that's in Chile. Oh, crud. Chile? Uh, you're wrong. No. Scotland. Josh, no. Nope. Greenland. Oh, my gosh. All Greenland. Right. Iceland. Because Iceland is green. Wrong. Okay. All right, you're all wrong. Czechoslovakia. <laughs> it is Machu Picchu no. in Peru. Oh, what? <laughs> See, I knew that. I didn't. No. <laughs> all right, so our winner is our sophomore, Tanner. Hey. Uh, now let's head over to sports. Dallas Cowboys improved to two and one last night after beating the Philadelphia Eagles 41 to 21. Dak Prescott went 26 of 26 and had 238 passing yards and three touchdowns. Running back Ezekiel Elliott had 95 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns. Golf lost 201 to 207 to Fulton yesterday. Zach Johnson shot 35. Tennis lost to Central Square 6 and 1. The only win coming from doubles pair of Abby Kane and Emily Murnane. The field hockey lost to FM 4 and 0. The gymnastics team has a home meet against Rome tonight at 5:30. Tennis plays at West Genesee at 4:30. Field hockey plays at home against Cortland at 6:15, and girls soccer plays at JD at 6:30. I'm Aiden with your sports. All right, that's all we have for you today. So from me and everyone else here at The Morning Show, have a tubular Taurus Tuesday.